We got screwed and there was not a freaking thing we could do about it. This is a reenactment of a conversation between a Washington Post journalist and a Wyoming farmer who was ripped off by Ted Budd and other members of the Budd family. There was no way to fight multimillionaires. We were the little guy. We were just a number and they could care less about us. When Ted Budd launched his campaign for a pivotal U.S. Senate seat, the North Carolina Republican pitched himself as a staunch ally of farmers. He recalled growing up on a family farm and described working in the agricultural business with his father. I am from Davie County, but I also live on our family farm. About 20 years ago, the farmer said to us one spring, we were making hay late spring, and he said, uh, he said, you know, you ought not to make hay, you ought to take that hay and make grass seed out of it. And we did, and that grew up into a business. You might have seen the product called Rebel Brand Grass Seeds. I still do like to get on the tractor in the weekends. What Bud doesn't want North Carolina voters to know is that he was involved in a money transfer scheme with his father that stole millions of dollars from farmers all across the country. According to court documents, a trustee for farmers and other creditors alleges that Ted Budd's father, Richard Budd, improperly transferred millions of dollars in assets to family members, including Ted Budd, right before Richard Budd faced a $15 million judgment in a bankruptcy case for the company Agrobiotech. The bankruptcy caused losses of millions of dollars for farmers, and in a settlement that followed, the Buds repaid only a small portion of the money back to their creditors. Ted Budd campaign advisor Jonathan Feltz acknowledged that Ted Budd was one of 11 people who signed as co-makers of a $10 million loan to Agribiotech that later became the subject of the trustee's lawsuit and declined to say whether any of Ted Budd's personal fortune of up to nearly $11 million was attributable to the funds allegedly transferred to him by his father. All totaled, Bud and his family screwed farmers out of $50 million and left more than $1.3 million behind in tax debt.